my house. I've been here since the first day the foundations were laid. I moved among the cement forms late at night and sat among the trees during the day watching the carpenters. I saw the windows and doors come and watched the roofers as the heat rippled from the shingles. The sun rose and fell and the house kept shaping into different things to different people. It was a cornfield once, then dozers came, then a foundation, then it had water and sewage, then electricity, then the man came and cleaned the house of construction debris, making it livable and shiny, and I sat in the dining room late that night on the bare floor, watching bugs move stiffly on the glass in the glow of the moon. Then one day cars came and then more cars and my walls echoed voices and sometimes children screeched and made me nervous. I sat there in the darkness later and waited until morning and then the truck came and then the people filled the house with themselves table by table, bed by bed. I move around at night now, up and down the stairs, pictures all around of faces and time frozen. I hide in the garbage enclosure or the woodshed among the saws and the hammers. The stars above me, I sit by the chimney and count the planets and hear the woods beyond yawn with long yellow teeth at my wide and frightened eyes. Sometimes I go into the room of the little one and reach my hand through the mattress and touch his small beating heart. Then I move back down through the walls full of cable wire and insulation, down the main post through the first floor, and through the walls of the laundry room, down there in the furnace. At the trap door where the fire roars and flickers, heating their morning showers. I cover up with stardust and unrealized dreams and lay down inside the chilly silence of my grave.